folks and welcome to another Tag Swag unboxing. I uh, had a few technical difficulties so I've already got um, the box open because I didn't realize that I hadn't hit uh, the record button. So I suppose that's not so much technical uh, issues as it is a human error and incompetence. But all you've missed is me um, using the fancy letter opener to pop the tape open. So you've not missed anything. So this is the February Egg Swag uh, subscription box. As always, this is not sponsored. This is just a subscription box that um, I get anyway, and I figure unboxings and reviews are helpful to people. So uh, thank you for choosing to uh, spend some time with me today, and thank you for, uh, for your patience with me apparently not being able to work uh, my own camera setup. So our box like that queen of the crossroads is the theme and that's actually a really cool um picture i quite like that um we won't read the back of it because we want to be surprised about the contents of the box all right so our herb this month will be black walnut leaves which is cool and our crystal is oh come on Blackstone, which is also really cool. Sometimes also known as Black Jasper. That's cool. Looks like it's going to be a nice and smooth, sort of satisfying one to sort of run over, run your fingers over. over. So that'll be nice. Ta -da! Grimoire page, um, February 2022. One day I will get the hand of being able to show these things off but until that time it's just a good i guess it's a good thing i'm not trying to be a beauty tuber because i would clearly be horrible at showing off product Ooh, and we've got um this sticker oh let me just move my fingers yeah a nice um sticker uh, a sword two keys and two uh little moons so that's really cool oh and it's a it's a snake the thing, um, let me, come on, you can focus, you can do it. Yeah, there we go, there we go, now you can really see it. I know the snake eating its tail um, design has a specific name. I don't know what it is, but I am aware that that's like an, an actual thing. The, um, not really sure what the purpose of this is. I tend to use them because it's just that. Um, I tend to use them as bookmarks, but that's just. Me. So we're gonna excavate. Oh, excavate the black flitters. They're always so much fun to clean up afterwards. Oh, we've got some cloth. Ooh. Oh, another uh, lovely. Um, patch or i suppose it could also be an altar cloth it's quite thick though which which um which makes me think patch but it's that same uh snake motif i'm gonna check afterwards on the listing what that motif is actually called i'll see it i'll remember it and then i'll feel like an idiot for not being able to uh think of it at the start because that's inevitably how these things go and we have some inner reflections Herbal tea. So again, with some nice motifs on the front of it. Enjoy this tea when sitting in meditation and reflection of the progress you've made and the journey to come. Lemon balm. Ooh, peppermint. Catnip. Oh no, Rigby. Rigby, this is tea that maybe you might want. Tea for kitty cats and milk thistle. I'm going to open it. Let's see what he does. Let's see if we can get them. Rigby? Oh, yep, I can smell some. Well, um, cat, catnip is also a member of the mint family. It's sometimes called uh, cat mint, so it makes sense that I can smell mint and cat mint or catnip because it's like the same family of plants. Rigby? Nothing. He can't even be bothered to get up off the couch. 
I should make sure that that is sealed before I put it down on the desk. All right. Here is our black walnut leaf. Very nice. I always do appreciate that they label the bags because like God knows I would never be able to remember what all the little, uh, all the little plants are. We've got Queen of the Crossroads um, soy candle. Boop, boop. Yeah, that same snake. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, so um, there's some herbs in it, but there's also a little key that's... Um, I can see where it's come out of the top of the candle, but I don't want to just tip the soy candle up because that'll fall out. But that, that is meant to be, to be in there. And that's, um, that's the, the soy candle. Oh yeah, I can see the little, the camera probably won't pick it up, but I can, I can actually see the little, um, the little uh, indentation where the key is supposed to be. So I can, I can stick that back in there on, uh, on my own time. It's not a problem. Then we've got some sort of salve. Purple ointment to facilitate meditative states, encouraging shadow work and self-restriction. Self That's a word. Self-reflection. And it's called Journey Within Balm. So we've got the same sort of... Um, do it. There we go. We've got the same sort of uh, triple goddess aspect as on the um, the the title page, the front page. Hmm. Really nice. So it's just a pale, a very very pale. Um, I'm trying to hold it in a way that the my ring light won't just make it look white. It is quite a, a very very pale yellow, almost like a butter color. It smells great. It smells very herby. Uh, organic olive oil, beeswax, lavender oil. Uh, I think it says Altus cedar wood, but there's a little bit of an imperfe imperfection on the label, so I can't quite see that first word. Yeah, Altus cedar wood and patchouli. So, it smells great. I really like that. Ooh, well, feels really nice. Mmm. I love things that smell very herby and um, like forest like. Like, I like it when it's, I know herby, like, people, oh, it's some people, for a lot of people, that's like, oh, herbiness and herb smell is like the smell of cannabis, but that's not what I mean. I mean, it smells like an apothecary shop or like a, a clearing in a dark, dense forest somewhere. That's what I mean when I say something smells herby. Oh, 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 we have something in bubble wrap. So you get the fun of the product and the fun of the bubble wrap. Hellebore flower essence. Essence water of black hellebore, uh, preserved in brandy. Take four drops four times a day on or under your tongue. Tea, cup of water, even in your bath. It's actually got a really beautiful label. Yeah, there's the flat. That is a really beautiful picture on that label. I mean, I can, whenever, with any of these sort of little uh, essences that come in these little bottles, if you go to smell them, I personally just smell um, the brandy, the alcohol. But maybe my nose isn't very good. Oh, here's, here's our crystal, our rock our black jasper, and that is a nice click-clacky sound. Clicky-clacky makes my brain happy. Yeah, we've just got two really nice pieces of black jasper. You can hear that. It's a really good sound. Someday I will figure out how to sit at, uh, at um, my camera without... Um, giving myself a horrible double chin by um, not sitting properly. So someday I'll also figure that out, in addition to being able to figure out, you know, how to get my camera to focus on things. 
All right, and the last thing out of our box here, and I'm so glad to see this night garden ritual soak. And again, another, oh, come on, you can focus. Yes. Come on, it's such a pretty label. Show everybody the pretty label. That might be as good as I can get it. Night Garden. Oh, that's a bit better. Night Garden Ritual Soak. Envelop yourself in the seductive sense of Hecate's Night Garden. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Contains Epsom salts with sacred herbs, flowers, and oils. I am so sorry that I cannot get my camera to focus very nicely on, um, on the photo, on the image, because it's actually really pretty. Oh, 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 we're kind of doing it. There we go. There we go, sort of. Better, better than it was. Cool. And uh, that, I'm just going to... Yep, that is it. That is the contents of the February uh, Ag Swag box, I think. Let me just find the table of contents here. Black Walnut Leaf, yes. Black Stone, yes. Hellebore Flower Essence, for sure. Queen of the Crossroads Candle, Night Garden Ritual so Soak. Oh, dear. So here's the name of the of the snake thing, I think. And no wonder I can never remember it. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to so say that word. Um, Strophilos, or Hecate's wheel, is an ancient Greek symbol and is an emblem of the initi initiatory lunar goddess Hecate. And her triple aspect, the second century Alexandrian text known as the, oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to say that. Um, Chaldean, 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 Chaldean Oracle describes the emblem as a labyrinth, a labyrinthine serpent emblematic of rebirth. Okay, yeah, we, we got that. The Hag Swag Journey with Embalm, yes, and the Hag Swag Vinyl Decal or Decal. Maybe that's, maybe I'm thinking of something else with the snake um, eating its own tail, because I thought that that started with an O. I'm going to look that up super quick. It's tail. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see say that word. Uh, Oiroboros? There's something that will say it out loud for me. Pronunciation, yes, that's what we're at. Arabaros? Well, what does this tiny YouTube video say? We are looking at. No. Arabaros, Ouroboros. Whatever, I'm probably using two incorrect um, pronunciation. I, like, I just want something that just says the word. Just say the word. I don't need a big introduction. I just want you to tell me how to say the word. Ouroboros. Ouroboros? Okay. I, you know what? I'm going to give up because um, I'm just going to drive myself crazy trying to find... Um, a pronunciation that seems right and that I can actually um, imitate. So we'll, uh, that'll be a project for me in my, in my own time. 
Anyway, uh, thank you for sitting down with me today for this unboxing. I hope it was useful to you and uh, feel free to like the video and share it around because reviews are only useful if people can find them. So uh, thanks for joining me here today and I hope you and all your loved ones are safe and well. So goodbye until next time.